it will subtract from the selection. Look at that. See the um, see how the uh, polygon tool changed? If I held the shift button down right there by the polygon tool, you see a little plus sign, meaning it's ready to add to the selection. So I could select this white in here, and it would select that, and they're both selected. Now, if I held the shift button down, see no, not the shift, the alt button on 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 PCs, you see it's a a, a minus sign there. That minus is going to subtract. I'm going to do that and subtract. It took away from the selection, but it kept that selection there. The reason that's important is because if I take and do a new selection up here, that added to put the selection, but it took away the other selection. So if I wanted to do if I wanted to do a color change on this, um, it's hard to do a color change. Or if I wanted to fill that area with black, I can go in and fill that area with black with uh, black, and now it'll fill all three areas. If that was something I wanted to do, which, eh. If, our, if, if we need her sash to be black instead of white, well, there you go. We just change it to black instead of white. That's not bad. That's not all. So, that is what the polygon tool, the, the, the magic wand tool. So, the magic wand lets you select. So, if all of this back here was green, we could select back there. And we could, we just about selected almost all, you know. And then we got it selected inside too. So, now what would we do? We could use the alt, but we could go to the polygon tool hit alt so it makes my deal have a minus it's got a minus sign by it and then we can start subtracting from the selection because it's selected too much in there right so we can start select subtracting so now what I'm doing is I'm select subtracting from the selection and look at that look at that and you're gonna see it almost is perfect now look we selected all the way around because I subtracted our selection. Now it's not perfect. If you got it real close to see what that did, boy, it's, it's a lot of stuff need to be worked on. Look, it's selected in there and I didn't subtract. It cut all. Look at that. It cut right there through. We don't want that. We That's why we use the polygon tool quite a bit to make sure we get it just right. So, we have you. We've talked about the polygon tool. Alright. We've talked about the magic wand tool. Now there's a lot more tools, y'all. But, we're doing just the tools that we use commonly in Gotcha Photos. The next tool that we want to use is the patch tool. Let's go to the patch tool. Now the patch tool is connected here with the healing brush tool. It's called the patch tool. It's right there. And I love the patch tool because what the patch tool does, matter of fact, I'm going to change pictures because I know where there's a picture that will be perfect to show you about the patch tool. So let me find it. Ooh, I think uh, her pictures are gone. Wow. Do I have anybody? Do I have any takers here? Okay, let's see. Let's use this young lady here. Yeah, let's pull her in. Do we want to use the patch tool on her? Yes, yes. Okay, so the patch tool is basically a tool where, see there's a spot right here. I want that spot out of the picture. I don't want that spot in the picture. So I'm going to zoom in on a spot. I'm going to grab the patch tool and I'm going to make a circle around that spot and I'm going to I'm going to click inside, drag and let go. Bam. And guess what? What it did was, I'm going to undo. Deselect. What it did was when I did that, I, I made a selection. Selections are important. I moved the selection over here. And basically, I'm telling it to take what wherever I move it, put this over there. So, I, poop, and that popped over there. So now it's the source. It, 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 in your actions palette, it's got to be source. So that means that when you make a selection like this little part here, and I move it over here, you know, whatever you move to will pop back to the source. Okay. So that's what the um, patch tool does. Why is the patch tool good? Well, the patch tool is good on the face to clear up some things. So, say I wanted to clear up that little spot on her chin. I make a circle around her chin. Move over here because I wanted that skin to pop over there. And look, that circle is gone. You want to see the difference? Let's go back. Before the selection, let me just deselect, deselect. Before the selection, there's a spot. After selection, no spot. Spot right here. I'm going to take that spot there, and I want this right there to pop right there. I'll go up, bam. I'm going to deselect so you'll see the difference. Okay, so before it was that spot, now it's out of there. Okay, same with that. I'll just circle around, move up, 
bam, it's done. Okay? Alright, now why is that important? You know, I actually didn't pick a good girl because this girl's got pretty good skin. I knew she had pretty good skin. Um, she's got great skin. As a matter of fact, she didn't even know. She said she never had a pimple. So we're, I'm going <laughs> to. Well, you know what? Our girl that we had was good. Let's say these weren't freckles. Well, you know what? We need to find somebody that has some acne. We got all these cute girls here. Let's find somebody that actually has some, some trouble. I don't really want to say trouble, but you, you, you guys know what I mean. Let's see. I'm trying to find. I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. I, I, I don't mean to take all day. Sierra had good skin, too, if I remember correctly. No, she didn't. She did not have good skin. So we're going to go in and grab a picture of Sierra. And maybe Sierra will help us show how the patch tool works. Yes, sir. E Bob. She's going to help us with it. So let's say Sierra. We got Sierra. See that skin problem there? We want to work with that. Okay, so how will we work with that? We're going we're gonna to stay with Sierra for a while. So we're going to take the patch tool. Make a circle. Boom. Boom. We've already showed you how to do it, so now I'm showing you how to clear that skin out using the patch tool. I can't clear everything out. i got to make it look realistic, y'all. See, all I'm doing is making circles, moving to the next spot. and it's, it, I'm going to wherever this good skin is and replacing bad skin with good skin. Well, I wish I could do this in real life. See, that's what the patch tool does. And you just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. You find a good spot that you want that, that blends in good. It doesn't work. You can go back and go edit, undo, or you can go back in your history palette because, as you notice over there, the history palette is following every step I take. Okay. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. That's what the patch tool does. It gets rid of spots. All right. There's other ways to get rid of spots, but that's what the patch tool basically does. Our next tool is the stomp tool. The stomp tool goes right along with the patch tool. The stomp tool is the tool right below it. Now there's two. There's the, it's called actually the clone stomp tool. There's actually a pattern stomp tool, but we use the clone stomp tool. So we got the clone stomp tool selected, and it, you, it works on a brush setting. So in your options palette, you have a brush setting. Um, and I won't go into all the options. You can play with that later after you learn. But you do need to learn the brush. You can have a 200 brush look. Look, see how big that brush is. Well, we don't want to work with. The, we'll take over the whole eye. We want to work with a smaller brush right now, which is about 20. So we can go work with 35. Okay, now we got the brush. So what the stomp tool does is kind of like the patch tool. Okay, but what the stomp tool does? Oh, just messed up. I don't even know what I did there. What the stomp tool does is, it does kind of like the patch tool, but what it does, I'm going to lower my brush, make my brush smaller because I don't want it to be so big. It, you hold the alt button, when I hold the alt button, right, now I'm holding the alt button over a certain area right here, I'm going to click that area, click, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and stomp. So what I'm doing is I'm clicking that area, I'm saying I want this area to be wherever I click next. So I, I hold my alt button down and click. To say this is the area to start in. Now I'm gonna put that area over here. Boom. Now see that little arrow, that little plus sign? That's where I clicked the first time. And it just replaced where I was with that over there. But don't only thing is it moves with you. See, the only thing is it moves with you. So it moves. It, see, so I started over there, it stays about as far away from you. So, it's not a bad tool to use. I've become, begun to love the stomp. I'm doing it all again. Boom. I'm doing it all to replace that. And you got to kind of play with it. Like this little spot here. All. Replace that. You see what I'm saying? So, I begin to love. I used to love the stomp tool. I'm going to put that. So, I click there first. Stomp. Click there. Stomp. Click there. Stomp. Click there. Stomp. Stomp. Um, I want to get rid of this hair. Click there. Stomp. 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 Going up. Click here, stomp over. You see what I'm saying? Now that's what the stomp tool. That's why I like the patch tool a little better. But the stomp tool does work. What the stomp tool is very, very good for is let's say we wanted to get rid of that line right there. The patch tool works, but the stomp tool is even better for that. If we wanted to get rid of that line right there, we could just take and select the stomp tool. We don't want that small brush, so now we're going to select a bigger brush. Our brush at 100. See, that's a bigger brush. And I'm going to select stomp. I'm going to start right here. Bam. And I'm going to go over there. And I'm just going to go straight down. Look, it's just going to remove that line. 